Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So today we're going to use the legs to flex the spine, and this can be a nice exercise for folks who have trouble um, floating their head up, who have trouble connecting into their ab curl in the traditional way, um, especially if you don't have all the bells and whistles of the Cadillac or if you're working this um, in a mat class. So I'm going to lie back. And you can do this with just a single leg or a double leg. So I'll start with a single leg. I'm gonna grab my knee and you can grab on to the shin, um, on the top of the shin or behind the thigh, wherever is most comfortable for your client. But you'll take a deep breath in and I'm really hugging my knee into my chest. As I exhale, I'm sending the knee away and that's gonna straighten my arms. And there will become a point where as I'm pushing my knee away, that's going to invite my head, my chest, and my ribs to roll forward. And so I'm using the leg to flex the spine. And then I'm going to stay connected in my deep abdominals as I roll back. And until my head is resting, I'm still connecting and pushing into my hands all the way down. So one more time, as I exhale, the leg reaches away, my chin nods towards my chest. I'm trying to hollow out the front to bloom and blossom through the back. And then you would slowly release and come back. So you want to make sure that as they're working here, when the knee starts to reach away, they don't let the chin rise up, right? We don't want that motion to happen, right? We want it to be integrated. So as soon as they start to feel their arms reaching away, they want to nod themselves forward. And that will just encourage that deep hollowing of the front body, opening of the back body. Now, you can also do this with two legs. So same rules apply, but now you just have both legs reaching away, inviting the spine to roll up. And then you roll back, decelerating, but staying connected through the arms and the legs until the head is resting on the floor. And it almost feels like a little super slow motion rolling like a ball. So that's using the legs to flex the spine. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.